morning, it's uh, Jill Price from Jill Price Studios, and uh, it's June 3rd, Friday, June 3rd, so um, this weekend in Barry is the Barry Spring Art Tour, and uh, I think there's over 50 artists on the tour, 25 stops, I believe, and some of those stops have obviously multiple artists. The uh, creative space beside me will have three artists. Uh, one of those being Susan Doolan, and uh, I really like her uh, combination of color, her color aesthetics, so uh, uh, I'm looking to do a trade with her after the weekend. Um, and if you don't know Susan Doolan, she's also a writer for the uh, Barry Examiner. Um, uh, she reports on the arts, uh, arts and culture in the city, and so she's a, a great person uh, to know. Uh, she's been taking some of my workshops, and she's a really fun lady. Uh, so this morning I had a really cool meeting with uh, Carolyn, Carolyn Edlund from Artsy Shark. Um, I applied to Artsy Shark to be one of their feature artists, and uh, I also was able to have the privilege of listening to her on the Creative Soul Tele Summit, and um, she's all about conversion. She's all about helping artists uh, in conversion. And if uh, you don't know what that means, uh, it means converting your web presence or just any sort of presence into sales. And so uh, she was able to offer me some good advice, you know, basically just confirm, confirming what I, I thought or I know um, in terms of... Uh, knowing my audience uh, and tapping into those audiences and directing my web presence tools um, and marketing strategies to those audiences. And so, <laughs> so uh, you know, what we both sort of uh, identified is that I, I into many different things and that in order to tap into the different audiences, um, the tools that I'm using need to be directed, um, specifically directed it to those oh, audiences. Ah, so, uh, you know, this seems like way too much work for me. Um, but, you know, she just said that if I'm doing an emailer and I want to target um, the interior decorators uh, as well as, um, let's see, uh, agents for the uh, like the big corporate buyers, um, she said that my emailers should be directed to those specifically. And um, so I might actually have to do two different emailers, and that the emailers can have some similar content, but ultimately I need to um, uh, format them. Um, and direct them to specific audiences. So that's double, you know, sometimes triple the work. Um, anyway, so that was eye-opening, to say the least. Uh, so I drew my, um, let's get back to some fun stuff. I drew my uh, business card winner for the month of May. So I'm getting a $50 gift ticket out to uh, Gordon Campbell. And he's, in the, he's a broker of mortgages in the city of Barrie, Ontario. So I'll be sending him off uh, a nice little envelope with a $50 gift certificate in it. And um, he's been into the studio, obviously, before. And so hopefully um, he'll come and visit again, and uh, maybe on this weekend. So I'm doing one promotional gift certificate a month. So if you are watching my broadcast, uh, stop by the studio and drop off your business card, and I will <coughs> draw from it at the end of June. Uh, I received um, payment from Museum London for one of my sales at my last show there, and uh, they're still to collect, I believe, on the Bank of Montreal purchase. Uh, so I found that I had three Bank of Montreal purchases last month in the last couple months. So that's exciting. I hope they continue to support and follow my practice. 
uh, still waiting for our, um, checks from the Art Exchange. Again, corporate purchase there, and they sort of do an end of the month tally of sales and send that off. Uh, what else? Um, so this weekend is the Barry Spring Art Tour. So uh, Susan Duell and I are putting out signs today, and the I think we have 11 signs to go around the <laughs> downtown waterfront area. So with arrows. So hopefully we'll get lots of people to our two locations. Um, additionally, the tourism Barry um, and the group sort of the commercial studio spaces downtown have finally agreed to go forward with the downtown art walk map. Uh, so Kathleen Trainer from Tours and Barry is working on putting that together with some restaurant sponsors on the back. Uh, and so those little rat cards will be hopefully ready in the next couple weeks. And basically what has happened is that all the downtown studios have agreed to be open on Saturdays from um, Really 10 till 4 or 12 till 4, uh, so that um, we can tap into the tourist market and so that Kathleen has something to give the tourists coming to um, the tourism location. Uh, so she'll just hand them these little records and they'll hopefully come and visit our spaces. What else? Um, of course, you know, I've been having computer problems since I got back. I uh, finally got my webcam up and running. Um, and now I, when I'm done the webcam, I'm going to have to work on my printer. So just printing off images that um, I need to reference when working towards my tree series. I uh, started to incorporate some text yesterday. I'm uh, not too sure about it at the moment, so, you know, writing the stories right into the paintings, but it's a little too uh, uh, literal, so I may go in with some uh, layering of stamping and printmaking today, uh, maybe paint or draw right back over the story so that they're not so forefront. Um, it, you know, just in that people, uh, people like text, and they like those stories, but uh, you know, they're, they're not their stories, and so I um, certainly need to um, take those out a bit. Uh, let's see, uh, what, you know, part of me wants to just get messy with these trees, um, make them more, come alive a little more. Right now they're a little too controlled. Um, as I'm wanting them to have sort of human qualities, I want there to be more of an energy. So trying to figure out how I'm going to do that or if I can do that at this point. Um, oh, I got my sketchbook yesterday. I entered the sketchbook project <laughs> um, with, with a, I forget, the New York, it's out of New York, the Art Press, I think. And so my sketchbook arrived, and the theme I chose for my sketchbook is um, Folds and Stitches. And uh, so like yesterday I just had a lot of fun doing that. Um, so I did a lot of writing on the first page and then I folded it, layered it with other little handmade papers and cuttings from the um, invite from time frame down in Callan and, and stitched it. And so, you know, there's parts of the text you can't read. There's other parts that you can read underneath if you flip things up. And I just sort of had a lot of fun putting those, that collage together on the first page page of my sketchbook, so I look forward to that sort of daily exercise until it's done. Um, and then what we do is we submit those by December 1st back down to Art Press, and those sketchbooks actually go on a world tour, which is kind of cool, where people from all over the world can flip through the sketchbooks. Also, the sketchbook is going to be digitally uploaded, um, and so that's really cool as well. And um, Anyway, I think it's a neat project to me, you know, for me, I, I've never actually completed a sketchbook. And as you get older and more serious about your practice, you realize the sketchbook becomes a really important documenting tool for your practice. And so, uh, really looking forward to seeing this project through. Um, and sort of a new commitment to uh, working within a sketchbook. What I love about this sketchbook is that it's not a hard cover. Oops. Sorry, it's not a hard cover. 
And um, so it allows me to sort of bend back the pages and work into it with the sewing machine. Uh, so I love that. Anyway, it's uh, going on 10 minutes. So uh, tonight, the art opening reception for um, the studio tour is at Artistic Frameworks on Commerce Drive. If uh, you want to come out and get a preview of the different artist work that will be in the studio tour. So um, I recommend that. Everybody will be there to meet and greet you. And you can talk about their work um, before kind of heading out to the studios on Saturday, Sunday, which runs 10 to 4 each day. Anyway, a big thanks to Carol and Lo uh, Edlin for working with me today. She gave me a little extra time, which was lovely. Uh, if I, you know, start to have some more money come in, I might do some more mentoring with her. And uh, I'm going to sort of take some advice and start working on my website right away and um, getting the PayPal buttons on there uh, throughout as well as hide some of the um, hide some of the different areas that sort of take away from the focus of my work uh, so that the buying audience isn't really isn't confused. Uh, I'm not going to delete them completely uh, just in case um, you know, the focus of my work or changes and so able to put different stuff up that I didn't get it in time. Um, you know, I told her that I wanted my practice to move more into conceptual work and so, um, you know, cause she was asking about my installation pages and um, so she thought I should hide them <coughs> for the moment but that when uh, uh, applying you know, that if I start applying for grants and things, that I'll want those visible at the, those times. So, anyway, that was, it was very helpful to hear that. So, uh, have, have a great day, everyone. Um, I'm working on a new blog, uh, Jill Price Studios Tumblr. Um, so, I've done a little bit of updating there with regards to my winery, the winery. Um, so, anyway, uh, if you want to check that out, I'll be posting to that regularly. Uh, and if you receive my email or um, any feedback or suggestions there would be helpful. Um, I already know I want to move to MailChimp, but um, I just couldn't figure it out for the June 1st deadline, so I'll be looking to transfer it over to MailChimp. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.